This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles, unit five, building apps, lesson 15, processing arrays, puzzle eight, algorithms and general purpose functions. Over the next several exercises, we will be creating a general purpose function to determine if the value is contained within an array. Oh, cool. Programmers do this a lot. Over the course of these exercises, keep an eye out for a general pattern we are using because we'll you will get to use it again to create functions. You'll get to use it again to create functions of your own. Uh, to begin, we'll start simple. We'll write code that checks whether an array contains a specific value. At every index, your program should display true if the value at that index is 5, false otherwise. Starter code has been provided for you, but you'll notice we use a loop. Oh, that's cool. They're using a loop to append stuff to our array. So our array will be 15 long because we start at zero. And each time this loop runs, it appends a new item to the array. So that's neat. Uh, array. Uh, yep. All right. Add an if statement inside the for loop to check. They mean the second one, I think. Uh, to check if the value at the current index is five. If the value is equal to five, write true to the council, otherwise write false, and then it's all council locked. Cool, okay. And this will vary because we're using random number to make our array. So let's use our if statement under your code goes here. And then what we're gonna check, we wanna use the equality operator, okay? And we wanna know if our array at that index is equal to five. Well, what is our index gonna be? It's going to be i is the variable because we're going through the length of the array. So we start at zero, check whatever's at zero of array. Remember, array index start at zero. Hit the bottom, go back to the top. One, check if index one of the array is equal to five. Okay, so we need our array name, which is random array. And then that with i to make sure we go through all of our indexes the equality operator, which is our two equal sign, and then five. So if it is equal to five, we want to log to the council true. And if not, we're gonna use an else. Remember, if this is true, so if the index at random array of i, so maybe we're at zero, so the first index, if it's equal to five, the computer says true, drops down and runs this council log. If the computer says no, that's not true, it's false, the number 7, false, the computer will then skip whatever code's here, and if we have an if statement, it will always run that by default. So now, by default, so if it's not equal to 5, we want to say false. Let's give it a shot. Oh, okay. Oh, and here are the numbers. Okay, any 5s in here? No. All right, let's try again. Oh, one true, 5 at the end. What's cool is that this changes each time because we're appending to the array random numbers. Oh, one five. Neat. Two fives. Cool. Yeah. So that's a bit tricky. Definitely with the if statement, the equality operator, and make sure you're using i, which is the variable we're using to iterate to go through all of the indexes one at a time. Great. Let's uh keep going. 